the creative process in review. All men of action are dreamers. James Honecker Of all our attitudes, the most important is that which we hold about ourselves, for it is reflected in our experience. The president or head of a country is playing the role of his self-identification and his sense of self-worth. And the beggar is doing precisely the same thing. As explained throughout this book, each of us is born with powerful creative faculties for achieving our purpose. But, as in all else, we must inform ourselves of their natural principles and laws and learn how to use them. All attainment has its price. Little price, little gain. But if we desire something of a higher value, it requires a higher measure of attention and energy. It is the same process as there is but one law of creation. Sustained fulfillment in the mind and emotions. If our desire is important to us, we should give it daily attention, recalling that a regular and specified time of imaginal experience in which we joyfully rehearse the ultimate expression of our fulfilled desire builds up energy and heat which in turn matures our mental blueprint. Our imagination impresses it upon our subconscious mind, which acts as a nurturing womb for our brainchild, and when it is sufficiently formed and energized, the creative process of our subconscious expresses it into the outer world of our experience. It is the same principle and process of all living things, ideas or thought seeds conception, maturing and birth, all begin in the interplay of the pairs of opposites, equal but opposite energies, beginning in the subjective and ending in the objective. Be aware that there is a development interval between desire and fulfilment. If you feel that your discipline of impression has not resulted in their expected expression, you should observe your practice and be certain that you are silently remaining in the end result of your fulfilled desire and that your rehearsal is always that of doing joyfully what you would be doing were it already objectified. It is also important to look for inspiration in a book or music or some source of your interest before beginning your creative silence. Inspiration and emotional warmth are necessary to the life-giving process and of course a relatively easy goal requires less energizing than one of greater magnitude. You should groom your mind daily to think, act, feel and hear the presence of your desire as already realized. Embody the role and stay in character. As amazingly stated by Norman Vincent Peale, Dear Lord, let me be the kind of person my dog thinks I am. So, dear friend, if you would be unsurpassed in your field, head some illustrious organization own your own prestigious company or be the chairman of the board if you would increase your income enjoy robust health or an ideal companion or if you would harmonize relations acquire a degree restore a failing business or live stress-free you are now marvelously equipped with the wisdom of the world's greatest sages. To begin, 
at the ultimate you desire to attain. As I bring to a close this communion of our minds, I like to think of it as a communion of our spirit, for my heart overflows in full flowering affection as I hold you, dear one, in my brightest vision. Lovingly, Louise Burley. End of this chapter and end of this book. I hope you enjoyed listening to the audiobook. Would you please subscribe, share, like and comment. And I look forward to sharing my next audiobook with you all. Thank you very much. Peace and love.